I met some people with modest lives who selflessly accept what nature provides during my journey through Western Turkey. <laughs> In fact, the trip turned out to be a time of rest. I encountered the Mediterranean Sea as my Turkish journey, which started out in search of the food of sultans, came to an end. Then I arrived in the food capital, Gaziantep, where I finally got a true taste of Turkey. Sweet, sour, and salty. I'm off to discover the thousand flavors of Turkey. I flew 11 hours by plane to reach Turkey, which is made of bits and pieces of time like a multifaceted mosaic. There I went to a number of cities that were born at the junction of civilization. It has been a long journey, starting from the Black Sea and traveling through the Anatolian plains. Now I'm turning my travel-worn feet to the ancient Mediterranean city of Hatay. From the Black Sea, the Sea of Marmara, and the Aegean Sea, Turkey meets yet another sea, the Mediterranean. The town that the all-encompassing sea embraces is Hatay, an ancient city that has existed since before Christ. The sea is where numerous past civilizations and art were born and extinguished. The sea has a characteristic of unlocking the lock to one's heart, even with just a simple look at one's feet. I'm strolling along the Mediterranean as if I were a gust of wind or a fragment of a view. Turkish people used to call the Mediterranean Akdeniz, or the White Sea. However, the pristine sea is apparently not like it used to be. I toss my travelers' troubles at the irregular lapping of the waves. The breakwaters and a lighthouse stand facing each other, as if in yearning, at this small seaside village in Hatay. The view is a bit different from ordinary seaside vacation spots in Turkey. The sea is everyday life for the people here. A rough life chops away at the boat. They will all dream of full loads of fish as they take off to sea. The fishing boats turn their bow seaward, knowing that they have a port to return to. As one of the few ancient cities in the world, Hatay is called the Cradle of Civilizations. Hatay is called by several different names. At one point, it was the capital of Syria and bore the name Antioch. Locals call it Antakya. 
As it crossed through the perilous historical tunnel, it became a city where diverse religions and ethnicities coexist. Barış içerisinde mutlu bir şekilde yaşıyorlar. Ee, özellikle burada da bir Ermeni köyü var ki biz burada tüm insanlar e, aynı yemekleri yeriz. E, Hristiyan'ın veya Arap'ın veya Türk'ün yemekleri farklı değil. Hepsi birbiriyle aynı. Çünkü burada bir biz mozaik. Hatay is a mosaic-like city that encompasses various religions. In Turkey, where Muslims make up 98% of the population, it is also a rare place where you can find a Christian church. Merhaba. 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 The minorities here have steadfastly maintained their faith in a place where Christian and Islamic civilizations have clashed. Is it because faith is something that deepens in the face of affliction? Each stitch seems to be an ardent prayer. Kendi dilimizi, kendi özümüzü yaşayarak kutlanıyor. Burada özgür bir yaşam şekli vardır. Türkiye'de tek Ermeni köyü zaman kendi dilimizi kendi dilimizi çok rahat kullanabiliyoruz. Burada çok güzel yaşam bir yaşamımız var. Kimler yardım etti? Maddi manevi. Onlar yazın. Referred to as Golden Antioch 2000 years ago, Hatay was the third largest city in the Roman Empire and also the first place in which Christianity spread. Even today, you can find sacred Christian places around Hatay, where numerous pilgrims come to visit. There is a tree that emits an unusual energy at the village's entrance. In the Mediterranean Sea, and they uh, settle and come here. And uh, when Musa has a stick, is put in the ground, and this uh, tree was believed that stick of Musa. So it is about 1,500 years old, and it is protected now by the government, and uh, many people come and visit here. People can barely make it to 100 years old, but this tree has been alive for 1,000 years. The tree has become sanctified and an old story has turned into a legend. Musa Namura Gurundeo, Samanda is a Musa to give Mosega, Yogi de Tinagamaso, Mogimalaso, to Murul Machin Yoko, Kajiko, then Chipangi de Gikota Teo, Kurso Toras, so Murul Machigo, Chipangi de Kajagalog Toras Sungan, Ichipangi as a Ipis and Gigo, Namuru Pionetteo. Moses' staff turned into a tree, and the water that he had turned around to drink became the miracle water of life. Numerous people come to have a taste of that miracle. You can believe yourself. You live long without die and endless. Uh, happy good night for you after this. Yes. An earnest belief is what sometimes creates miracles. I have come to a modest restaurant in a seaside village to get a taste of Hatay, a place that embraces the Mediterranean in its arms.
The chef's hands move with a particular deftness. He rekindles the embers and looks like he's about to grill a fish. Is there a special recipe? He simply sprinkles the fresh ingredients with a good amount of oil and grills it. Flavors of the Mediterranean seems to have jumped into my mouth. <laughs> Didn't someone say that half of your memories consist of taste? I have added yet another memory to my mind. Leaving the aquamarine ancient Mediterranean city of Hatay behind, I'm now headed for Gaziantep, the capital of food, which takes about three hours by car. On the fertile fields along the Euphrates River where human civilization was born, all fruits ripen in an appealing way. This is what makes the food in Gaziantep so rich. This pistachio farm near Gaziantep is having an abundant year. Pistachios are rich in nutrients and antioxidants. It is gaining worldwide attention as a health snack because it contains fewer calories than other nuts. Gaziantep is particularly famous as a pistachio producer. As summer comes to an end and the weather begins to cool, the outer shell splits open and signifies that the harvest season is around the corner. Gaziantep is the largest city in southeastern Turkey and is also known as Turkey's food capital. It's such an old city that it contains traces of people having lived there since 4000 BC. The best part of traveling is taking a look at real lives in the marketplace. I have come to the market early at dawn. In no time, the densely situated shops have opened their doors and vividly reveal the lives of the people. The city that sits along the Silk Road has been a central commerce and trading junction since the ancient times. Spices and other produce reaped from the fertile local plains are all gathered here. <laughs> the
The man barters a bit, but ultimately the deal is settled without a discount. Geçinirsek yeter. Rengi ne bulasın? Köylerden geliyor bunlar. Satık komisyonu alıp biz parasını ona veriyoruz. Hepsi köylerden geliyor. They are truly lives without greed. Numerous romantic shops where merchants enjoy people watching and sell handmade items fill the market. Merhaba. Merhaba. Bu ne? Bu patlıcan. Patlıcan. Evet. Bu ne? Bu kabak. Onun etiyle falan güzel yapıldığından hiç meşhur. Güzel, çok az sonnetik yani. Çok güzel olur yani. Kebap türü, o şey hepsi güzel olur. Yani. Bunun böyle keserler, içerisini oyarlar, çıkarırlar, kuruturlar ipe, ipe bağlar, kuruturlar. Böyle olur kuruyu. <gülüyor> Bunun kazi malin gosipuyo, Afrika malin gos, Eubank malin gos, Koçu malin gos. Diki malıyorlar, kalıcıyız malıyorlar diyor. Sarago, kogiago, yaragaci ate, tangsinyorul nasıl bomuluyorsa, cısa bomunun tümce yolu var. Kızı kazi ente ve çok iyi ünlüada görünüyor, ünlüyorsa, Cumhurbaşı ile hale dağarın var. Simit is perfect when you're hungry and you want some street food like Korean hot dogs. My stomach was rumbling because I have been out since dawn, but this is very filling. Hungry for a side dish, I can enjoy a taste found nowhere else as I watch people pass by. But then, the restaurant in a hotel is among number boda, the good is now as under Mogunica, Bolden Saran, Kugan Hagan, Kapuchin, the joy, open them from Gandia. The alleys of the market are a labyrinth, like a spider web. I follow a light hammering sound and end up at a copper crafts market. The stores also function as workshops, so you can watch the artisans at work in person in every alley. Hammering and stretching and chiseling. Everything is done by hand. In a world where everything is easily reproduced and manufactured by machine, I feel warmth from the copper pieces that have been produced by the hands of the artisans. This is a baklava factory, a pastry named for its hellishly sweet taste. Gaziantep is home to baklavas, a Turkish dessert. Their entire bodies are covered in flour from rolling out the dough as thin as a piece of paper. The men are all masters of their craft, all with at least 10 years of experience. The thin flour dough, called yufka, is then stacked into 40 layers. Pistachio and syrup are added to the lower part to add to the flavor. It looks like a western pastry, but the process is much more elaborate and intricate. 
baklava containing the highest quality pistachios is finally ready. I was very curious about them because they appear on Turkish tables without fail. I finally get a taste of them in their homeland. Kebabs are another essential Gaziantep cuisine. Kebabs are a popular Turkish dish and are basically grilled meat on skewers. I have come to the most famous kebab restaurant in Gaziantep. He is preparing appetizers for the customers and he is so fast that I can barely make out his hands. One hundred dishes are served in a blink of an eye. You can imagine how famous this restaurant is. I was curious and tried the sauce. Wow, how sour! Nonetheless, I don't think there would be anything better to wash out the oily and smoky taste of the meat. The main dish that the owner boasts about the most is, of course, the kebab. They put ground lamb or chicken on skewers and grill them quickly over a charcoal fire. Oh, but wouldn't it be hot? He grabs the hot meat with his bare hands. At the junction of civilizations on the Silk Road, ingredients are abundant and cooking methods are diverse. This is why the food of Gaziantep is so famous. A traditional dish, shish kebab. It is instilled with the wisdom of nomadic people who had to cook everything quickly because they lacked firewood. Iran is a yogurt made of sheep's milk. Since the Turkish diet centers around meat, people enjoy this beverage because it helps with digestion. We really like the lamb, lamb? the old lamb mm -hmm. uh, and chicken, but we don't have a big fish culture mm -hmm. because there is no sea in Gaziantep mm -hmm. and not beef. Not beef? We don't like it beef. In Gaziantep, we, because the lamb is very famous in Gaziantep and mm -hmm. tasty and oily. Gaziantep cuisine blossomed on the Silk Road. What kinds of foods turn up on household tables? My mother. <laughs> dining room for dinner. Tamer has invited me to dinner. First, I'm getting a tour of his honeymoon suite. You like this is our decision. The couple was recently married, and I can get a sense of how happy they are. And this is our kitchen for for you today. It's perfect. Now the cooking begins. Let's see how this bride handles herself in the kitchen. <laughs> Under the confident auspices of her mother and mother-in-law, the bride makes the traditional Turkish dishes herself. She is quite skilled. Patalachan kebab is made by stuffing eggplants with ground meat 
and then baking them in the oven. <laughs> she is already moving on to the second dish. This is another traditional dish called chikwafte. The finely ground raw meat is mixed well with some seasoning, and she kneads it with her hands. It's one of a few raw meat dishes in Turkey. Zor, biraz. Onun için daha çok erkekler yoruyor normalde bunu. <laughs> the recipes are passed down from the hands of mother to daughter, and the traditions of home meals continue through following generations. At times, cooking is like magic. The table overflows with the finished dishes. The name is Takbokum. 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 Okay. Please repeat. Takbokum. Okay. <laughs> Food is also a conversation. We are able to understand one another as we share food born from different cultures. I'm sure it's the first time for mothers, as well as the bride, to see Korean food. I add a spoonful of my love to the various spices, and finally the duck bokum is finished. I also prepared a brass bowl so they can enjoy it warm, because food is all about loving care. All the food is set on the table, and members of the family who are scattered here and there gather at a single space, the table. Today is a heartwarming occasion with Tamer, his wife, and parents from both sides. <laughs> Food must really be magic. I only shared one dish, but it comes back to me as two, three, and much more. Warmth overflows at the table. <laughs> when Turkish people say something is delicious, they say, bless your hands. Isn't this the best compliment? Istanbul is my final stop of the long Silk Road journey. 
I saw the absolute power exercised by sultans and the luxurious treasures with which flaunted that power. However, what I marveled at the most was the food of sultans, the food of Turkey, which originated over many years at the crossroads of civilization. Turkey는 세번 정도 여행을 해야지만 터키가 제대로 보인다고 얘기를 하는데 제 같은 경우에는 아홉 번을 얘기해도 제대로 보이질 않아요. 그래서 여전히 터키는 알수 없는 그런 나라여서 저의 터키 여행은 영원히 진행 중이기를 바래요. 인샬라. I already miss it. Happy as can be among the flavors of each Turkish alley, the memories will remain with me for years to come.